Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. <clears throat> this is Sunday night, March 29th. It's 9.35. I've been listening to this, um, I guess you'd call it an interview from, um, let me pull them up. The channel is the Next News Network. Okay. Now, I've watched him before and, uh, but not not a lot. I don't really remember what I've seen before on air. But this is titled Exclusive Top Doctor Exposes Everything the Deep State is Trying to Hide About CV. And then it says slash Dr. Sheba. This man is so smart. He has four PhDs, if I heard it right, from MIT. That's where all the smart guys go for computers and electronics and stuff. I'm not sure what all they teach. Massachusetts Institute of Technology. So, anyway, when he was, how many of you have heard that email? came from the military and that they developed it to keep in touch with each other without having to say it out loud over a phone or where a phone could get hacked or bugged. Wrong! This man came from India. Poor, poor, poor man. Somehow don't, he didn't say how his, um, I don't believe he went into it. Like the first eight minutes is just about him. How he grew up poor, came to America, and at the age of 14, he invented email. And he didn't, he said he never got a penny out of it. He got a patent, but then you couldn't, really patent software back then in 1978 and anyway he gets goes on into that for about eight minutes that tells you how smart he is now they're talking about why he knows this this CV um, pandemic is such a hoax. He is saying that there's talking about things like how Michael Jordan played with the flu uh, when he was a basketball player and how everybody thought that he was so strong and powerful because he played with the flu. Well, nobody made him stay at home. They've never made a big deal out of the flu before when it clearly has killed more people in America alone. Influenza now, that happens every year, has killed more Americans than the total amount of this so-called coronavirus, novel coronavirus. And he gets into the, um, and he calls it a theory or a, what do you call it? He, not rumor. I forget. He might have said theory, but I'm not sure if that's the word he used. But anyhow, because it can't be proven, he said, we still don't know who patient zero is or patient one. Who had it first? Where did it come from? How did those first 14, the first 14, how did they get it? So he kind of goes over the scenario about it and how it turns out that what the people in Wuhan had was not the same thing that the people in Italy had and it's not the same thing the people in Iran had. And it's not the same thing as what's going on here. What's going on here is not what you've seen 
in the Wuhan videos that got leaked. Now, that one report I put out said those were faked. But then other reports have said, no, those were um, people who managed to get a little snippet of a video here and there and got it out of China to social media. Well, so that that's kind of like, well, you believe it or you don't. But um, when this Dana was going over the video that I, that they took down, that she has up now on Bright, I think it's her Brighteon or Patreon, I can't remember. Somebody sent me the link that it can be watched on uh, one of them others. Um, yeah, she said she she figured it wouldn't stay up, but it was such a good video. And what was it she just said? I, I was just about to tell you, in that video, she made... I don't remember what I was fixing to tell you. Well, anyway, the point is, I would like, I'm, I'm trying to help you understand. You don't have to panic or believe. Please don't believe mainstream media. Please don't believe the numbers you're hearing from Trump or the mainstream media. They're hyping it up. It's nothing but the flu. And like every year, we should all keep our immune systems up, wash our hands, and do everything they're telling us to do, except stay indoors and don't work. They're shutting down the economy because they need people to stop interfering with them putting up 5G. I don't know why. I mean, they can't just go ahead on and do it. I mean, if the state owns the schools, but if, if they had gone to a council meeting and said, we want this 5G stopped, we don't want it in our near our schools, and they won, and then this comes along and they decide we're going to make this into the pandemic uh, exercise we've been talking about in the 201, whatever it's called. Uh, anyway, they're making more out of it than what it is. I am sure some people are getting the flu, and they probably even have the coronavirus in their nose because it's so common. The common cold is caused by a coronavirus. So if they're going to test them with a swab and they send them off to only a certain group can tell, you know, not say my local hospital they may do the swabbing but a certain group from the government has to do the reading of the results do you understand and they've never been able to see a virus in 45 minutes I mean They, they've never tried. They, it's, now, I shouldn't say never because some things might have happened over the last few years or so that I'm not, I'm not aware of. But I just know that I just kept getting told, well, there's, there's really no point in culturing your blood for viruses because it takes two or three weeks. And even if it comes back positive for a certain virus... We don't have any cures for viruses, and there's no cures, but yet they had out antivirals for people with AIDS, 
And believe it or not, they that some researchers got permission to use that on what I supposedly have MECFS caused by some kind of virus. Anyway, uh, I just thought I'd share this with you because um, it's very long and it's I'm having to watch it in pieces. <laughs> so, because it's an hour and a half. See, that's why I can't, I'm not going to watch a movie. You know, I see them on here. And if I want to watch a movie, I'll just put in there a search for um, full-length movies on and then put a subject matter that I'd like to see a full-length movie on and probably pull up more than I want. But I don't usually watch these long videos. But this is so important to me that people don't be scared about this coronavirus. Not that they can't use all of this later next flu season. That's what I'm thinking. And um, if I'm not mistaken, she went into that. Dana went into that in her video also. But I could be wrong because I put up a couple about the CV. Okay, clearly I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> so I'm going to let you go so I can take my dog out. And then, I'm gonna, then I'll get perked up when I get out in the fresh air. And um, see, we got a bath. My hair, I blew it out wrong and it's all too big. My hair is very thick, but the weight of it, since I'm growing it out, it pulls down the top and makes it look real thin now, which I'm losing hair. So anyway, that's why I'm late doing um, what I'm doing. I had planned to take Buddy out, let him finish drying, and then I'll say my prayers. So anyway... Um, I'll plead the blood of Jesus over this video because I do think it's important. I think people need to know the truth. I think you need to understand those who don't already um, that you're being lied to. The numbers that keep saying more and more people are getting it. More and more people are dying. And now they're extending this... Um, uh, all quarantines and rules and laws and everything stay in effect from it's not going to end on April 17th it'll be at least till April 30th well okay fine we all get to sit at home and become closer hopefully hopefully families are not fist fighting <laughs> because I can see that happening Probably sitting around in their own rooms playing on their little video games. Or maybe they're interacting as a family more. Eating around the dinner table. Growing closer. That's what I pray. I pray this is backfiring on Satan. And that it's bringing families closer together. That's what I pray. So I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection, and over each and every one of you, over myself, my computer, your devices, and your internet connections. Okay, I think I covered it all. Alright, with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.